and welcome. My name's Kathy A and well, I've got a full face of makeup that I saw on Facebook advertised and it was just killing me. I had to try it and then I saw Robert Welch tried it and I thought, you know what, if Robert Welch is going to try it, I'm going to try it because he liked it. So, I went on to the Shine site. I don't know if you can see the Shine or Shown or Shine. I don't know. They spell it differently each time. But I went on there and I bought some makeup and some hair. Uh, this is actually the, uh, the wig. And you know what? I think it was $18 for this wig. And you know, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. It's a little thick, but I could have it styled to me a little bit more. And I think it's, it's gorgeous. <laughs> it's kind of nice. Anyway, I'm doing a full face of makeup today from this brand, Shine. And I think they're kind of an interesting discount brand. It is from China, I believe. And they, um, they have such a variety of products and some of them are so good. I'm really amazed. You know, there are only a finite number of factories that make makeup. And a lot of high-end U.S. companies order from these same factories. So Shine, I believe even though many of their clothes are a little bit, you know, meh, uh, cheap, you know, badly sewn like a seven-year-old did it or something, um, I do think the makeup is a different story and I really bought a lot of products here. So what I'm going to do is just from start to finish, I'm going to show you as I apply each product how I felt about it. Now it's really hard to tell online what the shades actually are. There's no returns allowed, which you know irks me, the return queen here. Um, but I mean, it, it just, they just had such wonderful products. It was well worth the investment. And I did, I think I spent about 60 or $70 and I got all of this makeup. I mean, this in any other brand, even drugstore brand, would have been hundreds of dollars. So it is worth a look. Uh, the shipping took, I don't know, maybe about two weeks. And I'm gonna show you how it came. It came in a bag like this. I mean, really, all the stuff fit in here. You know, Some of it was packed nicely, nothing was broken. Um, and then each individual item was packed in its own box uh, or double box. Um, I really feel that I got a great deal for my money and it was, you know, and you know, as far as the hair goes, wow, wow. Yeah, this looks a little like a John Renault. I mean, this could be a John Renault wig. It is synthetic fiber, so you do get that little kind of sheen on it when you're under certain lighting, but I tell you, I'm pretty impressed. I did not cut the bangs on this one yet. I might cut the bangs on it, but I think that it was just, just it's just a lovely, um, just a lovely wig. I think it's, it's pretty good. Uh, I would put it right up there with my Boston company that I like, you know. So Shine, let me just show you a start to finish uh, from plain face to this. And you know, I think that the blushes were an outstanding item. And I tried three different blushes on and I did two different versions of their uh, contouring kit because I wanted you to see like a variety of things. And again, I was very impressed. I would try more things. Um, so without further ado, let's watch the video and I'll be back with you a little bit later. Alrighty, before and after for sure. Here's the eyebrow shapers. Tinkles, I'm sure you're familiar with those. This is a little pre-makeup maintenance for some of you ladies. Getting those extra stray hairs, shaping the brows, the fuzz. Really makes the makeup go on much better. And then, I've also got... The eggs, these are the sponge set, and they're all a little bit different. There is one that looks exactly like a beauty blender. And then there's some that have slight little um, carvings in them. They're actually pretty good. And then we have a set of powder puffs. I like applying makeup with them sometimes, or blush, or contour. And I do wash them 
and I do use um, my little scrubby mat. This is the Birthday Suit Face Primer. I thought it was a lot like the Clarins uh, Smooth Touch uh, Face Smoother. It's really elegant packaging for the price, unbelievable. And uh, it is sold out right now. I'm not sure if they're getting that back in, but definitely check out the site. It's a very, very pleasant, creamy uh, face primer. Makes the makeup and everything go on really smooth. A little bit of overkill there, and I'm putting the Clarins on the other side. They are different formulations, but you'll see as I blend them in how my skin reacts pretty much exactly the same to both formulations. So I was really pleased with this particular face primer. And you can see my face is glowing now. Still not looking good, but it's glowing anyway. <laughs> And then we're going into the eye primer, and that is, I don't know if I would recommend this. It doesn't seem like there's very much product in there, and I didn't find that the eyeshadows stayed on very long with this. I just, I don't, I can't really recommend it. But I did want to try it, you know, because a lot of their products are good. This one is not. All right, and this is the concealer tube. I mean, they're huge, really full of a lot. They come in strange colors like blue and green and orange. Uh, there's a few of them that look like skin tones. This one is called Tahiti. And I'm using a black tray steel plate, which was very cheap. And I'll be showing the ad for that in a moment. But I really like putting makeup on the black tray because you can really see it well. Whereas sometimes on the white trays or the clear glass, you can lose... Uh, lose where it is you know and you see you've got a lot left there to work with I'm using a brush to apply the concealer usually I would use the warmth of my finger to put it in but I thought I would use my real techniques brush and that is the concealer this is the complexion pro matte foundation and um, I'm applying it with their funnel brush on one side and the beauty blender uh, knock off on the other side so uh, that is warm vanilla putting it again on my tray and I do wash those trays with uh, dishwashing liquid and normally you would pour the foundation in the center funnel of the hole of that brush and work it in that way for some reason I decided not to do it that way I am buffing it in and then I'm going to kind of um, bristle sponge it on it's effective. I still think going with fingers is more effective and it does give a really nice finish. See the difference? So it is a very nice foundation. They also actually have samples that you can purchase for, you know, pittance. And it's a good idea because this warm vanilla is awfully uh, yellowy golden on me. Now this is the, um, their, their take on the Beauty Blender. It's very good. I found these things probably lasted about 10 washings before they got the little cracks in them. So that's pretty good for a cheap thing. I mean, I think it was like $2.50 for a set of four. And they have some interesting shapes to them. So they're, they're not stiff like some of the other uh, drugstore brand um, blenders are. Okay, so one side brush, one side sponge egg. And that was the foundation now we're going to set this and it does need to be set that's the baked glow translucent powder comes in several different colors but i like to use translucent and i'm using the powder puff that came with it i'm just kind of pressing it lightly into the skin i do like to have it um, pressed in or all over because it's sweaty right now it's very hot and humid here in connecticut and also um I have a lot of wrinkles and crinkles and I don't want that foundation moving itself around into those wrinkles and crinkles. Next, hmm, not bad. All right, this is the Color and Sculpt. And this is, um, one end is a light highlighter, reminds me a lot of the Charlotte Tilbury. And then the other side is a contour stick in a nice neutral matte brown. It actually looks good, and this particular color is a coffee 
and gold, they're calling it. They're way off on some of their um, colors. <laughs> this is the contour face set, and it's called French Girl. This is an amazing grouping of colors. You can use, I'm using that one center dark brown one as my contour, and then I'm going with the lighter, warmer brown for bronzing effect on my forehead. And then, of course, um, down there in the St. Bernard Gels area. Um, normally, I would use that blush as well. It's quite nice and neutral. These are all creams, but I'm using other blushes today, so I'm going to bypass that. So you can see the contour from each side, and I did not blend it all that well on the right there. This is the Cosmic Crystal Mousse Blush in Bellini. This is a cream mousse uh, to powder blush. I did try putting it on with a um, brush, and it works quite well like that, but I didn't believe it, so I used my finger and added more. So now we're getting, getting into Clownville here. Uh-huh. All right, we're going to another blush on the other side. This is a liquid blush called Love Cake, and it has a sponge tip applicator, and it actually works really, really well. I think their blush formulations are fabulous. The cream and liquid blushes are fabulous. So I'm just going to pour a little on the decollete there. Probably could have um, smeared that out a little bit better. Going over it with my sponge egg to try to blend out some of that over blushing I did. That did not help. Okay, not one, not two, but let me go for three blushes. And this one is a nice cream to powder blush. Uh, it's a thicker formulation. I'm putting it on the tray there. There we go. And I think it looks really, all their cream formulas are excellent. So now I'm going to go into the eyebrow pencil. And the pencil's nice. It is creamy, but you can get hair-like uh, brush strokes out of it. This is the blonde shade, which I found to be the perfect color in the stick formula. So I'm rushing a little bit. Um, Overplucked, older lady eyes. I don't look anywhere near as good as the picture on the ad. Okay, there we go. The other side has a really nice spoolie, and I'm just brushing them all out. D to D. Now we're going into the brow tint. I am not a happy camper with this. This is um, way too dark and gray and blotchy looking. It absolutely was a hot mess nightmare. Moving on into the brow stencils. There's a pack of 24. They're all different types of eyebrow shapes. And I think for a buck, 24 different eyebrow shapes, you're going to find the shape you want that's good for your particular eye. And I just love these. You can wash these, reuse them. For a buck, 24 is good. Going into our eye shadow palettes, the first one is She Glam, which is actually the brand name from Shine. Uh, she Glam Eye Palette in Burgundy. They had several different variant colors of this. I'm just going to go into the light, two light matte shades down at the bottom there with absolutely no payout. I'm, I'm very, very upset over that. There was nothing. The darker two shades on the right were fine in this palette. The rest of it was a hot mess. I just can't recommend this at all. Ick. But this one is a different story. This is the Bakes Sake palette. A different formulation on the powder shadows. Getting a different brush, going into that light shade. Definitely got payout there. I just feel that these are made with a more expensive formulation, maybe less fillers, less talc, I don't know, but the pigmentation is a lot better on these. It does last a bit. But I'm still not extremely happy with the eyeshadows from this company. I know uh, Robert Welch liked his, but I, he had a different formulation also. The really dark shades work really well in this formulation. And hopefully I will blend them out just a little bit better than that. Oh my god. Okay. Nothing like doing a demo and not doing all that well with the shadow spreading. 
going into that kind of greenish gold for underneath the eyes just for a little bit of pop there underneath to define it a little bit I don't like to wear black eyeliner at all so I use a color usually a shadow color underneath my eyes a little bit halfway in and I'm going into some of the shimmer stuff okay here's the singles coming up here I have two of them I have um, a brown one which is called you go to my head and these were I think on sale for like a dollar or something really pretty shimmer metallic bronze and uh, normally I would put those under my eye that formulation was much better than the second one silence which is the uh, green metallic I just put a little bit on it does not translate on the lid as well as it does when you swatch it going off to the eyeliner and they only had a choice of black or brown and I have so many brown eyeliners I thought I would try tight lining with this but it is just too stiff and it's very chalky as well so it does not do a very good job as far as lining it's very it pulls on the eyelids which is not good for aging skin we got enough pulling going on uh, in that area we don't need any more wrinkles so this eyeliner was pretty much a fail for me I mean it did define the corners of my eyes a little bit and I'm trying to do a little bit of a dip up but yeah no okay going into the cat paw lash curler this is a segmented eyelash curler it doesn't do your whole eyelash lid at once it just does little segments in case you just want to do a little bit of pop on the inside and don't need to do the outside there's a lot of control with that it's an odd odd little device this waterproof mascara is very luxurious I was very impressed with the packaging and after the third use of it it went on really nice and thick and it actually gave me some volume to my lashes I was really surprised waterproof formulas generally don't give you this good kind of coverage so I'm using it on the lower and on the upper I've got a tag sticking up out of my head just noticed it now that's like the spinach in the teeth here okay and I'm just trying to give myself two or three coats not bad so that's what that is on that side just looking up and that's what it looks like I hope you're seeing the prices on these ads that I'm showing you of the products I'm using this is the volume and length mascara it's a duo ended one on one end you've got a thinner brush with a lengthening compound and on the other end you have a thicker bristly uh, brush that's a little uh, more volume for fullness now the lengthened one I'm putting on first using that on the lower lashes as well because it's easier to control and putting it on the upper lashes and the lower lashes okay so now that I've done that I'm going to do the other end twisting that off it's a thicker brush more of an hourglass shape and much bushier you get a lot of volume there the formulation seems to have some fibers in it so you do get that volumizing effect so it does make a bigger lash than the waterproof one does but most mascaras work that way I'm just going to use a little on the other side so I'm somewhat balanced because I had to run out today to do an errand can't have unbalanced mascara so that's what you can see both of the lashes and I think the one on the right is a little bit fuller but I did add a little of that to the left four dollars and fifty cents my god okay here is a lip liner in true faith and they advertise this as a lip liner and a lipstick so if you fill it in it will look like a lipstick as well and this is my favorite lipstick from the site this is cream allure lipstick in nude the beautiful packaging a beautiful color it stays on nicely it feels good on the lips this is a very very pretty lipstick the packaging is just so luxurious I mean you would swear it was from like 
YSL or something, the way it just snaps together. It's just, it feels heavy. It just looks nice. Even the packaging is a foil packaging. And I mean, for the price tag, that was just amazing. Really pretty. $4. Okay, going into another formulation. I take off my lipstick and we'll put that on. This is the Starlight Velvet Lipstick in Beach Babe, and I believe these are matte shades. I'm just going to put that on. And I'm not normally a huge fan of matte lipsticks. But with matte lipsticks and with lipsticks that are too light, you can always add a um, lip gloss to them, and it really helps out. This one is my favorite lip product from the Shine website. This is called Dizzy, and this is a lip gloss. It makes any lipstick you're wearing look fabulous. If you're wearing something that's even white on your lips and you put this over the top, it makes your lips look fabulous. So the combination of those two I think is really pretty. It was $3.60. Now this one reminds me of those Revlon lipsticks where you put the color on, you let it dry, you let it dry down, and then when it's dried down, you add a gloss to the other side. So this is uh, Sakura Pink is the name of the color. It looks a little bit lighter in the ad. Now I'm waiting for it to dry. See, there's hardly any transfer at all. And now uh, the other side is a clear gloss. And again, lip gloss can really repair a lot of ills with lipsticks. So it's a little darker than I'm comfortable with, but I thought it was a really nice formulation. Now these two are the Matte Allure Liquid Lipsticks. I have two colors. One is True Faith, that's the lighter one. And the other one is Momojo, which is a darker shade. Now both of these go on very, very dry and blotchy, and I'm not sure I could really uh, recommend them uh, because they do that, you know, tech show the texture and everything. And this is a trio of mini um, Allure Lipsticks. They are in the trio called Nude Beach, and it's really a hot mess, really, on me. Um, there's like a brown, an orangey brown, and a dark wood brown, and not a single one of those shades is a flattering one on me, so I just put it on my arm. Same formulation as the top two, it just goes on very, very dry. You definitely need a gloss or something. Now this one is the Cosmic Crystal Matte Lipstick. The color is called Ladies First. Very, very pretty, nice feeling lipstick. So I'm just putting that on now. Feels great on the lips. This is one of the nicer formulations, but it does go a little bit dry. Now this next one is D-Light. It's the Starlight Velvet Lipstick, and D-Light is a very light, bright pink. I'm just putting it over the top of that other shade and I think it adds a nice contrast of color, changes it a little bit. All right, time to put the hair on. I don't usually show this on camera, but here we go. Now this wig was $18. <laughs> Um, I would normally have a cap on and I would clip it and I would do a lot of fussing with it that I'm not doing here, but really just to kind of show you how easy it is to transform your hair look. Now I'm preening. This is what it looks like on the model. It's even in her eyes, which I would not have it like that. So I didn't get lashes or lash glue from them, I'm, um, but I probably will try them. I do totally recommend this brand. I think that as a makeup brand, they did it right. And I think they got their makeup from different factories. Maybe that makes some high-end products because the formulations to some of these were just outstanding. And as I said in the video, there were certain lipsticks that I absolutely loved. The case very high quality, uh, the lipstick formulation, creamy on the lips, some of them very similar to products we're familiar with here in America. Um, you know, the two-tone, the Revlon, where you put it on and then you wait for it to dry and then you put the gloss over the top. I mean, there were some similarities there, but I think that all in all, this is an amazing brand and it's well worth 
checking it out. So I did put links below to this brand so you can try it out for yourself, have a look at it. Uh, I'm not being sponsored by them, they didn't send me anything for free and I'm not able to return anything and there are a few things here I'm not real keen on so I think I did pretty well for the amount of money I spent. I think I got a lot of really good makeup. So if you need to refresh your makeup, especially your blushes, I totally recommend this brand. It's worth trying out this foundation. Very well worth trying out this concealer, which there's a ton in that little tube and it's very inexpensive. So anyway, I hope all of you are having a wonderful week and have a beautiful day. Take care. Toodles.